Most of you know me. I'm Adam. Hi. I got a promotion at work this week. Um, I already hate it. I've been with the company for almost four years now, which probably doesn't sound very long, but for me, it's, I, I realized something the other day. I was thinking about all the different types of jobs that I've had since high school. I mean, I've done a lot of different things, um, restaurants, retail, house cleaning, car rental bullshit at the airport, corporate. None of it really lasted longer than a year or two. One summer I got paid to paint the hallways of our elementary school. It was this gray kind of pewter color. Our, our school colors were blue and gold, so I, the gray made absolutely no sense. You know, it was, it was just depressing. I mean, it's not like blue and gold hallways was gonna actually make me enjoy school. The next summer I got offered this job doing ground maintenance at um, the local cemetery. Talk about a dead end job. <laughs> it was a small town, so the cemetery wasn't any bigger than a football field. And it was crazy hot that summer. Like, something like 100 degrees every single day. And the cemetery wasn't very shaded. It only had a few trees like around the, the perimeter. The crew, those guys were straight out of prison. Greasy hair, bad tats. They talked about their wives, their, their old ladies, and their asshole kids. They talked to each other like brothers. Or like a brotherhood of men who had gone through some shit together. To an impressionable 16 year old, these guys were scary as shit, honestly. <laughs> I don't think I spoke a single word to them the entire summer. None of them really spoke to me either. <clears throat> the fucked up thing about this job, though, was. This was the same cemetery where my dad was buried a year before. So every day I had this constant reminder that trimming the weeds around his headstone was the closest I would ever get to him again. He was buried near the center where there were no trees at all. So there I'd be direct sunlight on my knees with this hot metal weed puller in my hand and this 
pair of oversized gardening gloves. Sweat pouring down my red burning face, stinging into my eyes, which was actually fine because it kept the other guys from realizing that I was bawling the whole time. Five days a week, eight hours a day for three months straight, risking heat stroke, no more than 50 yards away from my dad's grave. Still, I think it was probably the best job I've ever had. Anyway, I'm glad to be here. Thanks for listening.